Hey, 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 y'all. What's up? This is your girl, Nina, from Breakable Strong Woman. Coming to y'all. Excuse how I'm looking. I'm not feeling well today. I'm still in Shy town Enjoying my little getaway. Um, just want to talk to y'all real quick about a post I just ran across. And you know I got to make a comment. I guess it's Scotty Pippen's ex-wife. And I think from what I was looking at, she's dating Michael Jordan's son. I didn't know they was ops. I seen that he, they was calling um, Jordan, Scotty Pippen ops. I thought they were boys. I, you know, I don't keep up with sports. But I was watching a young lady comment on there. And she was saying that is very acceptable. There's nothing wrong with her doing that. There's nothing wrong with her using her ex-husband money dating um michael jordan's son and putting it all over the internet and keeping scotty pippen's last name how can i view this you know what first of all to the fellas you be very very careful who you date get to know somebody i mean really get to know them you know, you got to look beyond the body. You got to get in a woman's head. You got to see what her background, what what is her deal breakers, what's her morals, how she was raised. You know, if, if she God-fearing, you know, what's her beliefs? Because you end up dating somebody that don't have self-respect or respect for others and they just offer the coin, they will destroy you. You know, the young lady was saying it was cool but this is what I dislike about women, so many women. Y'all will agree to a woman dog walking a man. Y'all will agree to a woman cheating on a man, taking his money, sending him to jail. Y'all rooting a woman on, yes, go, girl, go. Loving it. And as soon as it happened to you, you the victim. He ain't shit. Black man ain't no damn good. And this is what I have a problem with because I watch women nonstop cheering on a woman doing a man wrong. But as soon as it happened to you, y'all go cry a river. I don't know who's raising these people because they're not teaching them how to respect others and that karma is real and you treat people like you want to be treated. It's not about who can give you what and who can take care of you. It's about meet, meet somebody and trying to have something in life. Trying to grow with a person. You know, life is about trying to make it. It is hard out here. So to hear young women, old women, whatever age you are, to constantly just uh celebrate a woman dogging a man especially in 2023 to me is so disgusting i hate to hear it i hate to read it and the internet has made women believe that they can have any man they want they can do anything they want to anybody they're superstars so they don't have to show no respect to nobody and this is what the internet has done to a lot of women you have to be a strong-minded female to be on social media, to get the attention you receive, and to be able to handle it. Because you must believe this, ladies. The internet love and attention is fake. All this is a fake facade. This shit ain't real. People coming at you because they just see something. They ain't trying to wife you and take care of you and run off into the hills and buy you a white house with a picket fence. They just want to sleep with you. And a lot of you women feel like, now nah, I got all these options. I got all these men. I can just throw some titty pics up there. I don't need you. They can just dog men now. The roles have switched. Women are running around here. Look at Steve Harvey's daughter. Running around here jumping man to man to man. At first, I was all for that little girl. I'm like, man, she doing her thing. Lori Harvey, she, she doing her thing. You know what I'm thinking? Now, that's how you date. You get to know people. And then I started to realize, mm, no, 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 that's a hoe. Mm -mm. It's a difference than dating and getting to know somebody and hoeing. Michael B. Jordan wanted to marry that girl. That fine ass black man. Successful ass black man. Who did not like white black women at first. You, we were mad at this man because he would not date black women. 
she got him. So we're like, yes. You know, I'm like, yeah, she, she made that brother change his mind. She doing the damn thing. That brother wanted to put a ring on her finger. Where every woman seeking a fine, black, strong man, successful, want to marry you. She had it all. And she broke up with the man as soon as he said, I want to marry you. Broke his heart. And already in another relationship. And want us to believe she's not sleeping with none of these men. Now, come on, y'all. Especially fellas. How many successful black men you know? Going to run up behind that, a girl who they know they've been all over Hollywood, been with their boys, their cousins, their uncles, been with everybody. Go get with her and spend some money and don't sleep with her. How many men you know will waste their time just to be dating? I just want to have fun with her. I want to be seen on pictures. Where... These are successful, famous black men. This ain't no hood nigga that's trying to get some fame. These successful black men, she had Puffy and his son. You think... They're not sleeping with this girl. But every woman I know cheering her on. Run, girl, run. You doing your thing. That's how you do it. Get them niggas money. But as soon as a black man do it, he ain't shit. Let's call the Me Too program and get his ass locked up for 30 to 60 years like R. Kelly because he did us wrong. He had my mind. I was trapped in his house. I couldn't get out. He had me doing this and he was cheating that. That me too and made women act a damn fool thinking that they just could treat people any kind of way. They they believe in their mind that if you do me wrong, I can get you locked up, but I could cheat on your ass all day long. It ain't nothing going to happen to me because we got the me too. Fellas, be careful who you date, who you talk to, who you spend your time with because I know some vindictive ass women. They'll holler at you. You could tell them that you're in a relationship, which is wrong. They would destroy everything that you worked for. I know women that when you tell them, I just want to be your friend. They start off, okay. Soon as you don't want to be with them no more, they calling your job. They tearing up your shit. They talking about your kids. Your mama ball headed. They do everything under the sun to tear you down as a man. Be careful who you talk to. I'm, I'm just tired of seeing these damn videos on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, these posts. As these women thinking they so deserving. And they just God gift to the earth. And a man supposed to kiss they behind. But as soon as a man get tired of them or dog them out. Or say something about their body being fake. Or say something about our lashes, the hair weave. Oh, they the worst people in the world. But women dog men non-stop. Ladies, for real, y'all know y'all do. You dog men nonstop. Y'all would call a man broke like it ain't nothing. Broke ass, bald head ass nigga. Soon as he say you section a bald head, nobody, bad built ass hoe, he the worst person in the world. Treat people like you want to be treated. I'm just tired of reading it. Because I'm like, half you ladies are saying that y'all y'all can't even say this shit. Because I'm like, take off that shit. I know how I look without my shit on. Take off that shit. Let's see how you look. Then we can talk. Let's have a, a, a damn uh, sigging battle when you take off them lashes and that wig. And let's see can we talk. Since y'all want to talk about everybody. And I hate to put it out there like that, but I'm just tired of women just dogging folks. It's, and I'm a woman. I don't treat people like that. I just don't. I treat people how I want to be treated. And I try to find the good in everybody. Life is so hard. I'm just tired of the nonsense and the drama and the gossip. I'm tired of it. So for women to sit here and call black men broke and you live with your mama. If the government wasn't helping you, girl, you'd be living with your mama too. If you didn't have government assistance and food stamps and Medicaid, could you go to the hospital and pay for your medical bill on your own? Hell no. Nah. So how you calling this brother that the government ain't going to help because he a black man and they don't want to help the black man? That's why he took the black man out the home. He ain't got the resources that we have. So it's easy for us to go get a car note. It's easy for us to go get a nice apartment and furniture. It's easy for us to go on girl trips because we got help. They ain't coming at us for child support, making us pay $400 a day a month or more out of child support. And y'all sitting there, that ain't no money. You ain't taking care of your child. $400 ain't nothing. $400 a lot. Okay, let me say this. $400 ain't no money. Can you give up extra $400 right now? To a bill, to a man, to your mama. Do you got extra $400 every month? 
Yeah, I know men should take care of their kids. I'm not taking that away. I was a single mother for a long time, so I'm not sitting here saying that. But I have never one time, and you could talk to my kids' fathers, never once went down to front of the court. Never once. Any money I received because them brothers did it. For one, I'm not going to make nobody take care of their seed. This my baby. This my responsibility. I opened my legs. I laid down and did this. So I'd be damned if I wait on a brother to help me take care of mine. Mine go eat regardless. I ain't tripping with this brother. And I'd be damned if I keep him from a seed that he helped make. Nigga, you come get your child on your weekend. I got shit to do. I ain't that mama. Mm-mm. You want, every other weekend, we don't need to go downtown. We can just, just you know, resolve this right here. You get him every other Friday, come get him. I'll be waiting at the door with him. I got shit to do. But when it comes to money, he know what he can afford to do. I should be able to call A. Hey, baby girl needs some gym shoes. Baby girl needs some school clothes. Baby girl got to dance. We going half or do you got it because I ain't got it. That's how adults supposed to handle shit. I don't need the white man in my business to tell my kid's father what he got to give them. Because to be honest, ladies, y'all know damn well $400 a month is not going on them kids. Half y'all ain't got cable in your house. So you're not even putting that money in the household. So y'all sitting there talking about, hey, 400 ain't just for that. It's for the bills. What bills when you on Section 8? What food when you getting food stamps? Keep it 100 so y'all don't like me because I keep it 100. What extra $400 doing for you when you got all this extra assistance? And then you know what else bad about women? That's why y'all don't like me. I know too many of y'all personally, though. You know what else that's real bad about women? Y'all would take this brother, $400 a month, that you was in love with. Argue with your family about. Fought, fought people over this nigga. Soon as you ain't with him no more. Oh, he, she ain't shit. You got a new nigga in the house. This brother don't work. Actually, he becomes the babysitter. I remember when I, when I was um, a provider, a daycare provider through the state of Michigan. I used to go to the meetings, right? Do y'all know how many people, the big people used to come to the meetings and tell us that this make they making it hard on providers because so many mothers moving men in their house and making their new man the babysitters and getting the damn child support, I mean, getting the damn daycare checks. She going to work. This nigga here babysitting, getting the damn daycare checks, taking it from providers like me. Dudes, y'all don't even know. Putting money in their pocket and you still getting child support from this brother you say ain't no good. But you got a no good brother in there that you pregnant by and talking about the brother that was in there. And finna do the same thing with him. How many of y'all right now getting child support and got a broke ass Negro laying in your house right now that you taking care of? A whole lot of y'all. Y'all don't like the truth though. Y'all ain't hurting. Because if you was hurting, how you take care of a grown-ass man? How you pregnant again when you on the system? How you keep getting pregnant on Section 8? Tell me this. How is it hard? I'm having a hard time raising these kids, but every year you pregnant. Then you want to say somebody else ain't no good, but you having babies by every man you meet. Now you got three, four baby daddies that ain't no good. But not one time you can look at yourself and say, damn, it's me. I'm the common denominator in all this bullshit, so it got to be me. How can all four of them be no good and I'm the common denominator with all four of them? Ain't nothing wrong with me. Maybe I make bad choices. Maybe I pick the same man in a different body. Maybe that. So many of y'all pick up brothers that don't work, don't have a car. Don't have nowhere to live. They coming from some other female house into your house. Now you got all kind of drama. You got bitches pulling up in front of your house. You got everybody mad. You fighting every day over this no good brother that ain't doing nothing but laying a pipe. That's all you deserve. You can go buy one of those at the freak store. But I'm just tired of women. Then y'all, you know what? It's just crazy. <laughs> it is crazy to hear women talk like y'all rich. Y'all be talking like y'all really got it. 
Y'all be putting people down like y'all really doing it. You would think y'all got Beyonce money. The way y'all talk about these brothers out here and they ain't shit. Y'all really be talking like y'all got it. And I bet none of you even have $1,000 in the bank. I bet you don't. Right now you probably do because you know why? It's tax season. Just like one of my boys said today. It's a whole lot of new relationships, but he know the difference from a tax season relationship and a regular relationship. That's another thing. Y'all so bad and bougie, but you don't have no self-confidence. You don't have no self-love. You got to buy a nigga, but you bad and bougie. I done told so many times, I done said it so, so many times, it's more women that trick than men. Y'all be calling men tricks. It's more women tricks than men. Think about it, brothers. Y'all, y'all know how many women that gave y'all money. How many women that bought you a car, bought you a new wardrobe, you know, paid you to come over there and lay the pipe. It's more trick women than men. On y'all shit. Ladies, you know how many times you didn't tricked. How many times you didn't like the brother and you didn't just gave him a few hundred. Tax time coming, gave him a couple thousand. That's tricking. That's tricking. But you a dog, a brother, out in a minute. Call him a trick. Call him all kind of shit. Then when he don't want you, a lot of times what y'all do, oh, he gay. Maybe he just don't like your ass. I'm just tired of it. I know it ain't my business. I ain't trying to be funny. But I'm tired of these bad and bougie ass uh, internet models. These bad and bougie ass. I don't need nobody, but they on Section 8. This bad and bougie ass, you broke, but uh, you get government assistance. You can't talk about nobody. And I'm not, I'm not trying to talk about nobody because I've been there, done that. And I wish right now I had Section 8 my damn self. Don't get it twisted. I wish I did have some damn Section 8, some free rent. But I'd be damned if I had it because I used to have it. And when I had it, I never one time remember putting somebody down that was in the dirt, that didn't have nowhere to live and called them broke. Because the only way you get Section 8 Medicaid and food stamps if you poor. The only way you can government assistance if you in a certain tax bracket. Low income. So how you low income and you bad and bougie? How you low income and you that shit? And you got the space to talk about a brother. He don't take care of his kids. You ain't taking care of your kids either. Uncle Sam taking care of them goddamn kids. You ain't taking care of them kids. That white man paying your bills. You ain't paying shit. You might got a piece of a job, but trust and believe you're not making enough money to maintain your household by yourself because you wouldn't get food stamps. Keep it 100, y'all. This your girl Nina from Break Up a Strong Woman. Y'all need to go somewhere and pray and humble yourselves because God would take you down. He would take what you have and leave you with nothing if you keep putting people down and degrading others thinking that you better than somebody. You will look around and you won't have nothing. You better be thankful for what you have. And you start blessing people. Be grateful. Gratitude. This is how you get blessed. You don't get blessed by degrading somebody. I don't care if you hate this man. Gus, let him see them kids. You didn't make them kids by yourself. That's the most ignorant shit I ever heard. A woman trying to keep a man from his kids. Them ain't just your damn kids. Let that man see his kids. Just because your daddy wasn't in your life, don't do the same thing to your child. Don't repeat the cycle. Let your child make that decision. That's ignorance. And if you want these women watching me right now and y'all don't let y'all kids see y'all fathers, y'all need some psychiatric help because that's their father. That's not your decision to make. That child love their dad just as much as they love you. Stop being so damn ignorant. This your girl. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.